Hey everyone, welcome back to Engineering Education. For this next problem, we have another difference equation. This difference equation here is of second order, and we're asked to find the transfer function h of z, so in the z domain, of this difference equation y of k. And so this difference equation has the output y of k and the input embedded into it x of k. So y of k is going to be equal to 1 over 6 times 3x of k plus 2 times x of k minus 1 plus x of k minus 2. And we're given four different possible answers here. It's going to be one of these four. So as always, pause the video, give it a shot, and we'll go over the answer in a bit. So to go ahead and solve this, we need to know that for any discrete LTI system, h of z, the transfer function, is equal to y of z divided by x of z. So that is the output divided by the input in the z domain. And we also need to know that y of z is equal to the z transform of y of k. And similarly, x of z, the input, is the z transform of x of k. And so what we can do here is we can distribute this 1 6 amongst all the terms here, and then rewrite y of k as the following. So 1 6 times 3 is going to be 1 half x of k plus 2 divided by 6 is going to be 1 third x of k minus 1. And the last term here is going to be 1 6 x of k minus 2. And so here we can attack it two different ways. We can factor out an x of k, and then you can have y of k divided by x of k will give you h of k, and then we can do the z transform of h of k to get the z domain equivalent and get h of z. We could do that, but what we're going to do is we're going to take the z transform of the entire thing. So y of z is going to be the z transform of each individual term. So that's one half z transform of x of k plus one third z transform of x of k minus one plus one six z transform of x of k minus 2. And so this is going to be equal to 1 half. The z transform of x of k is given up top there. It's going to be x of z plus 1 third times the z transform of x of k shifted to the right by 1. And to find that, we can go to the z transform table. And that corresponds to this time delay property given right here. So we're given for a signal shifted by 1 and a signal shifted by 2. And the only thing that changes is this exponent from negative 1 to negative 2. So using that transform, this becomes x of z multiplied by z to the minus 1 because it's shifted by 1. And then the last term is 1 over 6, x of z, z to the minus 2. And so now we can easily factor out the x of z. So x of z, factoring it out, we get 1 half plus 1 third z to the minus 1 plus 1 over 6 z to the minus 2. And now we can get h of z as y of z 
divided by x of z, which that gives us just that term here. So that's 1 half plus 1 third z to the minus 1 plus 1 six z to the minus 2. And that is our transfer function h of z. Now we look to the left and we realize that we have to manipulate the terms a little bit in order to get it into a format that they want us to get it into. And so what we can do is rewrite h of z as 1 half plus 1 over 3z plus 1 over 6z squared, like so. And now we need to add these together, so we need a common denominator here, and we're going to choose the common denominator 6z squared. And so essentially what we're going to do is we're going to take this 1 half, and we're going to multiply it by 3z squared over 3z squared. I'm going to keep switching colors here. Plus 1 over 3z. We'll multiply that by 2z over 2z. And lastly, we'll leave the last term the same. So here all we're doing is multiplying by 1 so that we can get a common denominator. And then this is going to be 3z squared over 6z squared plus 2z divided by 6z squared plus 1 over 6z squared. With a common denominator, now we can add the numerators together. 3z squared plus 2z plus 1 divided by 6z squared. And lastly, we can rewrite that, factor out the 1, 6, and get 3z squared plus 2z plus 1 divided by z squared. And if we look to the left here, that corresponds to c. So that is our answer. So to recap what we did, we were given this difference equation, y of k, and we noticed that the input was embedded inside the y of k, so x of k was embedded in y of k, and instead of pulling out x of k directly in the k domain, what we did was we took the z transform of the difference equation first and worked with it in the z domain rather than the k domain. And once we found the z domain equivalent of the difference equation, we were able to easily pull out x of z and find the transfer function h of z. And when we did that, we got it expressed in a different form. So we manipulated the terms, found a common denominator, and rewrote the same transfer function in a different way. And we found that the correct answer was c. So did you guys enjoy that video? Please let me know in the comments below. If you did enjoy it, please leave a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, enjoy engineering.